morning everyone welcome back to another video on my channel i've not been on here for a while now um actually i think you might have seen an infill video from me like recently before this video is going to go up but basically i've just not been very well again um yes again <laughs> this year um so yeah basically i'm back now and i've got lots to do in my room so um just a quick update like what's happening in my life at the moment is that i am actually currently in the middle of well i'm not in the middle of moving but i'm in the middle of buying a house um it's all gone through like we've got the mortgage and all that sort of thing we're just waiting for the searches and all that boring stuff for the solicitor to do um and then i'm gonna put you over here because i'm not gonna be able to keep you there um yeah so we've got like everything sorted and on it's like on the move basically so hopefully within the next few weeks we're going to be moving so i'm going to be keeping my nail room here at my parents house for the time being probably just for about a year while i get a cabin set up at the new house which i will obviously film all the process of when it comes to it um but for now i need to sort out this room because i want to start doing different treatments again like brow waxing and lash lifting brow lamination stuff like that um, so to be able to do that I need to make space in my room for a beauty bed again if you saw my really old um, salon vlogs you'll have known that I actually used to have a beauty bed in here but then basically my nail art collection got absolutely massive and I didn't have space for any more because I needed more drawers so my plan is let me just show you these drawers here um are going to be coming with me to the new house this is not a good angle at all those drawers are going to be coming with me to the new house please ignore my skin by the way i'm having a real bad time at the moment um i think it's just because i've been ill and run down and stuff but yeah so they're coming to the new house with me so everything in these small drawers needs to go into these ones um because i can still fit those tall drawers in the room even with a beauty bed so that is the plan so i need to basically empty as many of the tall drawers as possible to be able to put everything out of these shorter drawers into there so i can take these shorter drawers to the new house when it comes to it so instead of waiting till we actually move and having to do all of this at once i'm going to start now because i know it's going to take a long time so i just thought i might as well film it because why not i need some excuse to film things lately because i've been so bad at keeping up with youtube um I will get back on it but obviously i've just not been very well so that's why i've been missing um so yeah let's get straight into it so i've got a couple of drawers already let me turn you around okay, this is what they're looking like at the moment let me put my flash on so it's a bit brighter um this one's empty it's just got this at the back to stop whatever i put in front from going all the way back and then this one's also empty this one is also empty so we've already got three and then this one has just got random stuff in like my what's it called what is this called my label maker um and then loads of these tips which i don't even use to be honest i'm just sort of hoarding them um so yeah i, I just sort of want to keep them because it's a waste to throw them away but i don't really need them so this um what's it spray room spray I'm just gonna put on the shelf behind me because i don't need it in a drawer this stuff i never even use it but i'll put it on my trolley um and then these i do use sometimes so i'll put them up there so I think I also need to sort out these pink boxes down here. I don't even know what's in them. It's been absolutely years since I opened them. So it's definite that everything in there is not needed. So I'm going to take these pieces of card out as well. Oh my God. I just realised how long of a, a what's it this is actually going to be because there's so much stuff. I definitely want this because you never know when they're going to come in handy. And then we've got just some napkins they definitely don't need to be kept in there so this is going well so far but then the bottom <clears throat> the bottom drawers are where it gets a bit manic so i'm definitely gonna have to keep all this stuff in here because that's my tin tin bag with all my tin tin stuff in it um and obviously we've got some more swatch sticks loads and loads of those uh some wax melts that i do light in my room and then um actually that's a good point i seem to have lost my wax melt burner which is really weird where have i put that but anyway um and then tips for press-ons which i don't even really do anymore but there you go um and then in here we've got the most recent giveaway box i can take that out because i'll be doing that giveaway soon now i'm back um i've got some tears beauty gel polishes which i might do a second giveaway of and put those in that and then i've got all these books which I need to do something with. I might put a couple of these. I can't sell them because they're not in like perfect condition, but I might put a couple of these in with the Tears Beauty gel polishes as a giveaway. Um, and then in here is just complete random stuff. Like I'm not even going to attempt to sort out this drawer because there's so much in here. 
um, and to be fair a lot of it I do use I still didn't get around to doing the video on this actually I was going to do a removal video with this stuff the magic remover and removing it properly just to show that it's not even worth using that because it doesn't take that long to remove anyway um, but I never got around to it obviously as usual like a lot of things that I plan to do um, so yeah I'm just going to pop the things that I've just took out of the other drawer in here just to condense it a little bit so that's that and then that means I've got a lot of drawers left over so I want to move this this stuff down a drawer so I'm going to get them to doing that okay I've done that I've um, popped those in there so the bottom two drawers are now full and the ones above it are all empty so I've still got lots and lots of space now the only problem is obviously as you all know in these drawers are my glitters uh, more glitters and more glitters so I need to literally take all of this out because I want this whole unit in my new house so it's not ideal but the first thing I'm going to do is just transfer I can't actually show you like exactly what's in this drawer because it's got names of clients on it but these are basically those boxes you can get from navy pro tools that you keep people's um what's it it's in what are they called that you keep people's oh what are they called <laughs> Uh, files in basically like a file storage unit so um yeah i need to put all those in here first because i absolutely definitely need space for those and i want them at the top so i don't have to keep bending down to get them when there's clients in so i'm gonna go ahead and transfer all them over because like i said i can't do that on camera because obviously gdpr and i can't show you people's data so i'm gonna do that now um, i'm gonna get some wipes first just to wipe down the um drawers and then i'll be back once i've took them out of here and put them into here so this is where I'm at at the moment, um, <laughs> as you can see it's a mess, there's also on the top of here as well, so basically these boxes that are empty um, are just emptied because they're clients that I know are not going to be coming back for any reason, like they've moved away or they don't get their nails done anymore or basically just anyone that hasn't been to me in the last about year, year and a half, like because obviously if they do come back it's not an issue, I'll just give them a new box sort of thing, but um all the drawers are let me see if i can just cover names <laughs> um there we go so all the drawers are now like this um well the top three anyway they're full of like current clients and it's good actually because i managed to fit one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty four in each drawer so that, they held more than i thought they were going to which is really fab so in that black bag there is just the files that have come out of here obviously i'm not going to use them again so i'll just pop them in a bag to go in the bin um yeah so for now i've got a client in um literally only just realized that this book here that i'm going to blank out on the video has got all of my clients names on it <laughs> totally forgot i was trying to put them in alphabetical order so wrote them all down but i'll just block that out it's fine um so if the zoom suddenly goes really far in it's because i'm blocking that list so it's now 20 to 11 and i've got something at 11 so i sort of need to get a move on tidying this up and then i can carry on the video like after i finish that client um so yeah for now i'm literally just going to put all these flat like i'm going to flat pack them all and then pop them all into a drawer somewhere just so because obviously i can just scribble the name out and put a new name on it or tip exit or whatever um if i need it for a new client at any point so i'm going to keep them just in case um and then yeah i'll get back to the video after my next client is gone okay so i've just finished that client here is where we're at now so we've got top drawer is empty second drawer is empty third drawer has got this random stuff in it so i actually didn't know i'd got these which is really handy because obviously i go through a lot of sanding bands so that's great um these plastic tips are from clear jelly stamper i'm going to put those in a giveaway box because i don't use them anymore um these are just wipes well removal wraps that i actually also forgot i'd got so i should actually probably start using those um and then we've got some stuff here that i got from divine nails and beauty that are linked in my description box with a discount code in case you shop there um but basically i swatched the new what are they called the pigments for them when they first bought them out so that's what's in there they were all sent to me a while ago um and then in here i've just got random bits and bobs we've got some dried flowers got some little things like this never use things like that um especially now i'm gel only so i'll probably put those in a giveaway as well um i'm probably not going to use these i might throw these away because 
yeah the the these are really pretty to be fair the dried flower gel polishes from smileys but i've literally had these for about two years and i've never used them so it's clear that i'm not going to use those so right so i get rid um and then we've got loads of flakes in here that i do use every now and then so i will keep them then obviously we've got this drawer which is just all glitters and then we've got this drawer which is again all glitters um probably going to keep these in here i was actually questioning myself whether to put rows of glitter just along the top like just along three of these and three of them i can't see on the top shelf so that'd be absolutely pointless because i literally can't see it um but yeah i was questioning doing that just to sort of i don't know i don't know whether to put the ones in the small pots there or the ones in the big pots because i was thinking of literally just having like this where is it there um just like a row of glitters like along each one because i think that'll that'll like that's a lot of space then that i've made in drawers and stuff so i think i might do that so i'm going to do that now because i've got a little bit of time before my next client so i'm just going to put it on a quick time lapse so you can see me doing it but it's not going to take ages hopefully Okay, so I've just had a client in, she's just left. So I'm just showing you where I got up to with this before she came. So I've put three layers on the back and then one at the front because I've got some trunking in there. Um, some like cable trunking just to make that higher that was there for my gels. And I've decided to put the glitters there. And you know what? I actually really love it. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously I'm not sure how practical it is yet. I can't imagine it being too bad. I mean, I've used a glitter in the last two sets I've just done off camera, obviously. So it wasn't the end of the world. Like I just lifted two off if it was on the bottom and stuff and it was absolutely fine. So I think I'm gonna like it. And obviously they're pretty easy to find because they're all together. Um, I do still have some left over though. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with those. Um, so this is how many I've got left in here. It's just those few. And obviously I've still got all of these. <laughs> um and all of my tears beauty stuff so i need to pop these in these drawers over here so the top three have got the uh what's it called so i need to give this a wipe and then grab all the glitters okay just need to figure out how i want to put them in here now that's the main thing i've got uh two here actually can that go across there yeah that can go across there and then i think i might be able to get a large one of these in there perfect that's worked out really really well um and then down the sides of here i'm gonna put the ones that are still in bags they're basically just ones that i've like i've run out of um pots i just haven't got around to buying any yet i do need to do that though to put these into pots so for now i'm just gonna throw these down the side of here um probably gonna have to just fold them over a little bit to get them to i know it's annoying because they don't look particularly neat but you know we're just gonna have to move with it it's fine so that's those um so that's that drawer done um quite a few in there already so i think that's good actually because it means i can fit the same amount in this drawer and I've actually got the same amount to go in, which is handy. I'm just going to turn these ones around so I can see them a bit better because those white lid ones are the ones that was in last year's advent calendar. And then that can go in there. And that's worked out really well. So I've just got the last few bits now, these things here. And because I don't use them all that much, I think I'm going to try and just slot them in into places i'm just gonna pop these i don't know if i can fit three yeah fit three down there and then the other one can go down here that can go down there so that's that one empty and then i've got the pigments that i mentioned which i could probably that can go in a giveaway i've got a little pile going on here as well of things that are going in the giveaway box um so that's handy. Let's bump that up a little bit. See, I don't, I really don't use pigments very much, to be honest. It's really not something that I use a lot of. Um, so I'm thinking I might, I might put those in the giveaway as well. These 
pigments here just because like i said i don't use them i'm obviously very grateful to brands for sending me stuff but there really is no need for me to have them if i'm not going to use them i think maybe i'll pop a couple down the side of here um like if i do ever use a pigment it's the iridescent -y type of one so i'll keep those and then pop the there we go i'll pop the um what am I trying to say for goodness sake? I can't get my words out. Pop the coloured ones into the giveaways for what I was trying to say. So I'm definitely going to need a bigger giveaway box, that's for sure, because I've definitely got more than I can fit into it now, but it's fine. So this is where we're at now. Um, I've got some tips in here that I also don't need. And then a random box for no reason. So that one's empty. And then we've just got the Tia's Beauty drawer which is going to be really difficult because I think I've only got one drawer yeah I've only got one empty drawer left now and it's this one so um the what's it called oh, blue sky gels can go at the back because I can still grab those from the back and pull them forward without having to actually pull out the the what's it in fact I might put those oh god i'm covering the camera sorry i might put those in this long tub so i've had a little play around and this is what i can fit in here so i'm basically just going to fill these with the stuff that's in here now um to see what we can get oh, in where so i think i'm going to stand because it's a deep what's it called um like a deep draw i can have things a little bit higher so I'm going to stand up all these glitters um, upside down so I can see the names of them and the colours obviously because if I put them the right way up, Tia's Beauty lids are um, gold so I'm not going to actually know what colour they are until I turn them over which is obviously not ideal. So I'm going to pop them upside down, I'm sort of putting them in colour order but mainly not, <laughs> um, just similar sort of colours zoom out a bit i don't know if you can even see what i'm doing oh i'm zooming in <laughs> gosh oh, why does it go so like that's a horrible look like it goes really light sorry about that when you uh zoom in so i think i'm gonna have to go and get myself a quick cup of tea very british of me can't do anything without a cup of tea in hand <laughs> um so yeah like i said i'm just gonna pop these in here this will be the first one and to be fair i fit quite a lot in here so that's good and then hopefully obviously because we've got a bit of a gap in here still and all of those are in now um i'll be able to fit more stuff in here which is fantastic so i think what i'm gonna put in here is the holographic things because obviously this i'm putting the dusts in here because i use the dusts all the time they're absolutely beautiful um and because i do reach them quite often and this is going to be the like tub that's at the front of that drawer i feel like it would only make sense to put stuff in that that i use frequently because then i can grab it quick without having to take stuff out of the drawer so I'm going to fill that with those and definitely the Orion flakes as well. They are absolutely beautiful. They're so sparkly. Um, I think that's all of the dusts. Oh, there's a rogue one at the top. So I think the other things I'm going to put in are the Aurora dusts. They are absolutely beautiful. I definitely need to make space for those in there because they're stunning. And then last but not least, if I can fit them in, these just literally, there's only three, so I'm hoping I can squeeze those in. Yeah, perfect. The the um, the flakes as well, I absolutely love them. So that's all of that. Um, and then all I've got left is just shapes, pigments and chromes. So that's pretty good. I think we've, we've fit quite a lot in that one. So let's get the other two out. I feel like we're doing quite well here actually what a productive day today has been so i'm going to put flakes and shards in no sorry i'm going to put flakes and oh gosh that was aggressive flakes and chromes in this one 
to be honest, I only think I've, I think I've only got three of the flakes. There's green, gold, and red, maybe? Yeah, red flakes. Oh, and I've got some copper ones as well that I didn't even realise I've got, so that's good. Uh, oh, and fuchsia. Oh, turns out I've got way more than I thought I did. Just goes to show that I buy too much stuff without really putting a lot of thought into it, because if I really, really wanted something, I definitely remember buying it, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I think, I never really know how much to film with these types of videos, because obviously it's not the quickest thing in the world, and I don't want you to be watching them th thinking like, oh god, this is taking ages, I'm getting really bored, but I also... I don't want you to miss something that you would have wanted to watch so it's a bit tricky um right so that's them like that's all of them now so it's a bit annoying because obviously i've run out of stuff for this oh i've got flake as well uh leaf sorry i think i'm gonna put the leaf on there's another chrome there as well um i'm sure i had a couple more leaves but apparently i've only got the one i feel like i'm going blind i'm just not seeing things that are actually there um okay i've only got three different types of the what's it called i've put that in upside down of the the leaf shapes so i'm going to put those in here just because they fit and it keeps them all together so that's those three and then i've got one more gap what i'm gonna oh there is another leaf i knew it i knew i had another leaf <laughs> so that's perfect they're all in there now they're all the same sort of thing that is magical and then this is left for the shards and other shapes so i am going to do this one off camera just because there's not really that much left and then we can come back and i'll show you them in the drawer okay so this is where we are now we've just got some pens that i'll easily find space for we've got some more oh my god even more press-ons which i can just pop in the press-ons drawer I'm just going to shove them down the back and a gap there we go um right so like I said, sorted it out. Just got the swatch sticks to put with everything. Let me just get those. I'll empty that drawer in a sec because I need to hoover it. So here is the Tears Beauty drawer. I've got everything in there. So I'm going to pop these there because that's where the dusts are. These there because that's where the glitters are. The Aurora are in there. And then the coloured chromes look at those are in there so i'm gonna pop those back there and i am just gonna spread these out even though they're not actually where i've put them but just so it's not confusing so that's that drawer and then i had to put the rest of them in with this so this drawer is full to the brim there is one at the back there obviously i can't reach it but if i need something out there i can just pull it out um but yeah all the excess stuff's gone down here i found some more like butterfly things so yeah, and then I've got all this stuff here to go into the giveaway box. So I'm going to show you what's in that now, actually. So I'm going to have to change the box for it because the one that I was originally using is rammed full. So I'm going to need a bigger one. So I'm going to have to use this. Um, there we go, that's empty now. So we've got all this stuff here. Let me grab everything else. Actually, no, we'll put all the stuff in that's already in it and then I'll grab the other stuff and put that in on top. So first things first, we've got one of these little mini uh, lamps because to be honest, I've had a, quite a lot of stuff sent to me from Model Ones over the last couple of years and every single thing they send me comes with one of those lamps. So I've got a stupid amount of them. Um, so yeah, that's why that's in there. And then I just want to get everything out so I can put it all in nice and neat. There's a, I know this is a bit random, but a Tears Beauty acrylic powder called Jazzberry. It's beautiful. Basically, I lost it while I was selling my acrylics and sold them all and then found it. So there's no point selling it on its own. Um, and then we've got these shapes that are also from Tears Beauty. They're very pretty, but just not something that I use. And then we've got a couple of bits and bobs here. So we've got some shapes to start with, both from uh, sparkle supplies uk so you've got butterfly beauty and god glitter bomb i'm making a right mess at the moment uh and then we've also got some more shape sort of things we've got fiesta mylar and then we've got some pigment so we've got violet which is also sparkle supplies i think this is called bermuda off the top of my head but i'm not 100 but we've got that as well it came out of one of the vip boxes lately uh we've also got rosy which is like a glitter and then we've got two more pigments, which is scarlet pigment and honey. 
and then we've also got some gels i'm just fighting with these at the moment because doing anything one-handed is just not on my list of strengths i'm afraid <laughs> um yeah so we've got some gel polishes from model ones as well which i'm clearly having problems fitting in there we go um move those over a little bit go down there oh my god what is actually wrong with me i don't even know if you can see what i'm doing right now but i'm having real difficulty making my hand do what i want it to do <laughs> Right, so we've also got a random glitter here from Rip Pop, which was in the most recent Gelbox UK box, which is actually the box that I'm using for the giveaway. Um, so yeah, we've got that as well. And then we've also got two more pigments here. We've got Love Story and Violet. I'm pretty sure I just showed you Violet, so I don't know what is wrong with my brain at the moment. Pop those in there. And then we've got these two things here. We've got some butterflies and some like pearly ball sort of things. I'm going to pop those in. I really am struggling with life today. I don't know what is wrong with me. And then we've got some lots and lots of silver foil from Sparkle Supplies UK. I basically put this in a grinder and grinded it up to smaller pieces because it's much easier to use that way. But it made a lot of it, so I've got loads and loads spare, so I've put some of that in. This was a freebie with diamond glitters um, when one of the orders that I got lately, so I've put that in as well. And then we've got some crystals from Sparkle Supplies UK. These are the sugar rose ones. And then we've got some foils that I basically double ordered by accident. So we've got Serpent, which is a see-through black one. You can put over anything. Then Ultra Spring and some stickers. Some tea bags because I am British and I live for tea. We've got a nail art pen. And then we've got some nail art brushes. We've got a nice mermaid one. And then obviously a couple others. One's got a dotting tool at the end and then silicon tool. And then a brush that also came in the most recent gel box box. So that's what's in it already. And then obviously I've got some extra stuff to put in now. So the stuff that I've just found to put in now is as follows. So we've got some replacement tips from Clear Jelly Stamper. These are actually pretty expensive. I bought them in the lockdown because I was using them a lot, but I haven't used them since. So there's no point like trying to sell them or anything. I'm just going to pop those in there. Um, and then we've got some slices. We've got some fruit and some love hearts in different colours. I'm going to pop those in. And then we've also got loads of glitter and stuff like that. So we've got a few glitters here. We've got a lovely copper like no it's not copper rose gold color which is from as you can see charlie and the Lots of flies but i've got that rose gold color in lots of different ones so there's no point having that much of it then we've got this beautiful blue one which came in a glitter pot fairy is that what they're called i think so came in a box from them that i got ages ago but again got very similar ones to it so don't need any more and then i think this came in the same thing which is some holographic rose gold dots and then I've also got some rose gold shards that don't fit, which is very annoying. <laughs> and then we've got a glitter here. I can't remember where this is from, to be honest with you, but it's very pretty. Um, some more glitter, which is basically the same as that blue one, but in pink. Some of this. Got lots of glitters like this, so I don't need all that. And then basically just a load of random stuff. So another one from the Glitter Park Girls. Um is this pigment here which like i said i don't really use pigments very much so I might as well give it to somebody that does and then like i just mentioned with these colored pigments um popping those in from divine nails and beauty um i was lucky enough for them to send them to me so obviously i wouldn't sell them on because i'd just be weird <laughs> um but yeah so i'm gonna pop those in as well these are like available to buy by the way so you're getting a good deal like you're saving yourself money and then also i'm putting all these teardrops in as well so there's different colors there's that color there's pink green um like a darker pink like an icy bluey whitey sort of ones and then some orange and like coral no some like goldy orangey and then corally sort of color as well um so that's those as well and i think to be fair that's where i'm going to draw the line because this box is now full as well i don't have any bigger boxes so i'm going to pop those back in there pop the tea bags back in and then that's it that's this one's like giveaway obviously this isn't the giveaway post or anything so don't try and enter like 
that I'm literally not doing it right now. Um, I've got a few things going on at home at the minute. So once all that is sort of dealt with and stuff, I will get on to doing that. So please don't ask me for the things because trust me, I will get around to it when I get around to it. Don't worry about it. So I've got a few extra blue sky polishes here that didn't fit in that thing that I've put them in. So I'm just going to pop those down there. But yeah, I think today's been really productive actually. So I've literally, I've emptied the top drawer, the second one, the third one, the fourth, apart from that. <laughs> um, the fifth drawer is empty. And then obviously this bottom drawer, literally just need to take those two out, take the spice racks out of the back of them um, and obviously clean it. And then that's it. This unit is then ready to go to the house when I'm ready to move. Um, and then obviously the top three of these are full of my clients boxes this one is glitter this one is glitter <laughs> this one is shock glitter some random stuff like those boxes that I've heard about some napkins and these books that I need to get rid of which actually I can put my um, spare pens in there that's handy and then also the Those nails can go in there and so can the spare standing bands. Um, this bottom drawer has basically just got a load of cuticle oils in and all the uh, press on stuff that's on about. And then the bottom drawer has got all that random stuff in that I had in before. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I think I could just say, I should just say bye like with my face in the video because I haven't seen it a lot lately. But yeah, and I've obviously also changed all of these as well, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, I yeah i think i really like how they turned out actually even though it took me a while to get there but yeah we got there in the end um so yeah let me know whether you're what you're feeling about this situation i'm not 100 sure yet to be honest with you but obviously as you can tell by how full those drawers are already i really don't have any drawer space for all these glitters and like i said those drawers are coming to the new house with me so I do need to also have a new sort out of the drawers in my desk. So I'll do that first, figure out how much space I've got. And then if I don't like those on the wall, I'll try it for like two weeks, see how plausible it is. And then we'll go from there. But yeah, so my plan is eventually is to have this cart, the other side of my desk down that corner where the bin is. Uh, obviously this is going, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't use it anyway. And then those will go this side of me down here where this is. Um, and then I can have those shorter drawers at the new house and I'll have space here again for a bed to go. So that's the plan. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been quite long. Apologies for how chatty and rambly it is, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.